Hi everybody, welcome back to Harry's Music Room. Uh, this is a contest entry for uh, Deep Track Zach hitting 1,000 subscriptions. Uh, congratulations, Zach. Well deserved. Um, you and I like a lot of the same kind of music, so this is going to be fun. Uh, what Zach wants us to do is show three to five albums from the year 1972. Um, he's going to turn 50 this year. And he was born in 72, and he thought it'd be nice to see what we're all looking at uh, as far as records that, that we like from that year. So, I'm going to start out with J.J. Kale, Naturally. I absolutely love this album. If there was such a thing as a Desert Island disc, this might make it for me. Um, I can remember driving in my... Uh, 1969 Barracuda uh, in uh, San Angelo, Texas. I was in the Air Force, at Goodfellow Air Force Base, and I had this on an 8-track, and I played it to death. I absolutely love this album. So, uh, on that 69 Barracuda, by the way, uh, a friend of mine had to go to Dallas on emergency leave. I just bought the car that day. I had a 1966 Barracuda, and I traded it in on 69. So he knocks on my door, and he says, Hey, i got to go home on emergency leave. You're the only one in the barracks that has a car. Can you drive me to the airport? Well, I was in San Angelo. I had to drive him to Dallas. It was late. Uh, my roommate says, Yeah, I'll go with you. So, so we got in the car and drove him there. Dropped him off at the airport. It's quite a ways. And... Uh, Coming back to the base, I fell asleep at the wheel. Um, as soon as I went off the road, I woke up, slammed on the brakes, car spun around backwards, jumped over a dry riverbed, and we landed on the other side, and it took the back of the Barracuda and literally bent the back end up and did not break that window. Shoved the engine back into the firewall, broke the oil, uh, filter off, had to get towed into town. I just bought the car. I didn't even have insurance on it yet. So I ended up having to pay for that car for the next four years. That's a long story. Okay, so, um, but that, for some reason, when I think of naturally, I remember driving in that car. So the next album, Something Anything, Todd Rundgren. Um, without a doubt, my favorite Todd Rundgren album. He's made uh, some good albums, and he's made some stinkers, in my opinion. But this is one of the good ones. And this is a nice, very nice condition, white label promo on Bearsville, which is out of Woodstock, New York. Um, Bearsville was started by um, Bob Dylan's manager. His name escapes me at the moment. Um, but they would set up a recording studio there, and... Uh, Speaking of Bearsville, another album from 1972 recorded on Bearsville, and that's Bobby Charles. Bobby Charles is a uh, songwriter from Louisiana, and you probably would know him by his songs if you're not familiar with him, but he wrote See You Later, Alligator which is a huge hit for uh, Bill Haley. He wrote, uh, I Don't Know Why I Love You Like I Do, um, for Clarence uh, Frogman Carter. Fro is that it, Carter? Uh, and then he also wrote, he was a big, big fan of uh, Fats Domino. And he went to see Fats in concert in uh, New Orleans. And, uh, and he told Fats how, what a great fan he was. He was a songwriter. And Fats says, well, you should come visit me at my home. And Bobby says, well, he says, I don't have a car. If I did, I'd be walking. And he thought about it later, and he wrote the song, Walking to New Orleans. Uh, he did, in fact, meet up with Fats Domino, played the song for him, and it was a big, big hit for Fats Domino. If you're not familiar with Bobby Charles, really, you should check him out. Then another one from 72. Um, when I got out of high school, I was from upstate New York. I got out of high school, and within a week, 
10 days, I think, I was in the Air Force, uh, San Antonio, Texas. And I'm going through the um, process where they uh, issue you clothing, and it's a big line, and you're just moving along this bench, and they're, and they're asking you what size, and they're handing you clothing. And as I'm doing that, I hear the there's a radio in the background, and I hear this song. And I knew who it was because they were my favorite band at the time, and that was Chicago. And I heard this I heard this song playing on the radio uh, Saturday in the Park, and I knew it was Chicago, but I'd never heard that song before. And it was it was very satisfying, kind of uh, gave me a nice easy feeling knowing that yeah I was in a very different environment. I was in the military. I was in basic training. But things were kind of okay because I, I still heard some of the music that I really liked there. So, anyways, this is one of my favorite Chicago albums. Uh, it has the song Dialogue, which is perfect. And then 1972 also gave us Carl and the Passions, So Tough. Now, what's unique about this album? It's a double album. It's a twofer. Some of you know what twofers are. And it gives you pet sounds also. Um, if you read up on this album, many people say this is the very best pressing, the best sounding pressing of uh, pet sounds. So if you're looking for a really good, really good sounding record, uh, this one generally goes at a pretty reasonable price because not a lot of people are aware of that. So if you're looking for a really good pet sounds, pick this up. And then another band from 1972. I know I showed five albums, but I'm also going to show one CD because I don't have it on vinyl. And that's uh, The Flatlanders. And that's uh, more legend than a band. Um, the Flatlanders were Jimmy Dale Gilmore, Joe Ely, and Butch Hancock. And uh, one of my favorite songs on here is Dallas. Um, but everything on this album is really really good and if you like americana if you like roots uh you you're gonna love this album you probably know all three of the people anyways and uh like it says more of a legend than a band because they never really did anything else for many many years and turned out they were going to do a reunion show and they played at the king cap theater in seattle so i went to the show and back then that was, uh, you know, what year was it? I don't have a year on here. But back then, I would record shows. And I recorded the Flatlanders at the King Cat Theater. And then I would go home and make a CD out of the show. So, kind of cool. I have a bunch of different CDs from different shows that I've, that I've gone to and recorded. Uh, another friend of mine, Barry, and his wife would go with us, and he would record, I'd record, and he usually had a little better equipment, so his tapes came out a little nicer sometimes. But uh, a lot of good memories on, on, on when you listen to these recordings and you remember where you're at and who you're with. So anyways, those are my picks for uh, some of my favorite albums from 1972. Uh, good idea, I love it. Uh, that's the year I graduated from high school, so uh, it's definitely a year I remember. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're subscribed, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed and you would like to and you want to see more content like this, uh, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Until next time, ciao.